In the Reckonist Peninsula of Iceland, we have earthquakes, which are due to the movements of the plates, Eurasian plates and North American plates. And these are creating a, a situation that the magma can rise under the source. And we are measuring the amount of the magma coming up. And every time we are measuring this, we notice that after every eruption, it takes more magma to actually to build up the pressure each time coming from a deeper source upward to to the depth of the four to five kilometer to build up there then then erupt so this eruption uh, preparation stage creating bulging of the ground which rises the ground when we measure this by gps uh, measurements and every time we notice that up to the february amount of the magma before every eruption was almost constant then from the March eruption, we had an increase, a sharp increase. We had to really reach the level of the 30 million cubic meters for the eruption to happen. And now in this eruption, if this uh, follows the same pattern, we have to wait around three to four weeks in August probably, up to the time that we reach the 30 to 40 million cubic meters of the magma, so the eruption happens. This is the trend we are seeing, and we are just observing to see if it is true. At the moment, underground, there is a lot of work in the sourcing. We have to protect the sourcing power plant, working on the uh, building of the defense wall, raising it and you know, flattening it, making sure that the lava cannot uh, go over it is continuing. The area that is now, you see the smoke and the vapor rising, is the area that we suspect the eruption may happen. Grindavik is now the center of the tension because every time we notice the fissure, it moves toward the Grindavik. We see the effect of that uh, machinery working on the tremor chart and the earthquakes also shows the effect of the movements of the plates. So due to this, the risk assessment map, map, which is a legal document, shows that there is the increased probability that within the town of the Grindavik, within the defenses that we have built around it, the zone four, there is a chance of eruption. So we have included that in this uh, risk assessment map, which is a legal document, and seeing it means that you are responsible in that case, if, if, if anything happens. Uh, this is the latest uh, in the um, Icelandic Meteorological Office update, and I have presented this to you more also I presented. Uh, there is a chance that we have to wait a while until probably the August, the first week or second week of August for the next eruption to happen. Uh, at the moment, 13 million cubic meters of the magma is built up under the Swartzengi volcanic system. And uh, in the previous eruptions, we had to wait for 13 to 19 million cubic meters. But this case, maybe even 30 to 40 is the more likely amount.